Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fact Flashers Real Talk. Now today I'm here at City BJP, Valodra City BJP uh, President Dr. Vijay Shah's residence and we're going to have some morning tea with him and this is going to be a very exclusive episode because uh, we are going to begin 2021 with the local body elections. We have to check uh, where all the parties including BJP, uh, Congress now. Uh, Mr. Rajesh Hari's party and along with that OVC has entered on the battlefield as well. We have to check what is happening and how are the parties foreseeing the elections. Good morning, Dr. Shah. Yeah, I'm morning, madam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And I see you're making tea. Yeah, I'm making tea for you and your friends. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. So, like, uh, so we'll begin 2021. Yeah. 2021 has come up with the good news of the vaccine as well. Yeah. And as far as Vadodra is concerned, uh, we are going to start the year with the local body elections. What uh, are you foreseeing? Yeah, uh, as a political party, we always feel that uh, our party should get all 76 seats which are getting to be contested for this election because right. we have a 19 election board right. and each ward will have four um, wards. Right. So, I mean the four seats, so we are going to have 19 by 4, so 76 seats is going to get elected for this uh, election 2021. Right. And we are looking forward to have all uh, 76 seats by the BJP. How nice. So it's been uh, more than 25 years since BJP yeah. has been into power in Vadodara city in particular. Yeah. So why are people choosing you every year? Um, one of the major agenda of BJP and that is about uh, the development of the city. Right. And if you look at the last 25 years of the journey of BJP, you will find that uh, Every year we spend not less than 3,000 crore rupees mm -hmm. for the development of the city. Right. It could be either as a part of the revenue what we generate from the local people as a property tax and other taxes. It could be as a part of the state government grants or it could be as a part of the central government grant. But closer to 3,000 crore rupees every year which comes to about uh, 70,000 crore rupees right. in the last uh, 25 years because in earlier year uh, the grant was little lesser and then over a period of time the grant has increased like 3,000 to 4,000 crore rupees. Right. So the development is a major issue why uh, people choose BJP for local election. So do you think that uh, Vadodara as a city yeah. has been getting all of the facilities or is developing in the way it deserves to be developed? I mean, uh, as a city, you always feel that you are getting little lesser than right. um, what you are expected to get. Right. But still, uh, as a city, I believe that people are doing almost, I mean, people are always getting what they are expecting as a minimum uh, requirement of the city. Right. Uh, so, we call the Nagar as a Nal gutter and Rasta. Mm. So, we need to provide them the nice potable water, that is one of the requirements. Right. The another requirement is we are uh, supposed to give them the nice drainage system so that they are not chalked up. Right. And we are supposed to give them the nice roads. Mm. And these are the three major requirement of the people mm. and I am pretty sure that the people of Baroda are getting this minimum requirement. Right. Because Baroda is little different in a way that we are uh, an educational hub, we are uh, research oriented uh, mm. people, we are Kalanagri. So naturally people have a lot of other expectation. Absolutely. And uh, I am pretty sure that over a period of time mm. we will be in a position to fulfill all of the requirement. So this time in the Baroda local elections. Yeah. As a party, Bharatiya yeah. Janta Party will be focusing on the local issues or on the national issues? See, all the local elections are basically for the local issues. Right. So, sir, uh, because you know, every now and then there has been this conversation yeah. that uh, BJP usually focus, uh, focuses on the national, uh, you know, national agendas. Do you think that, uh, how true is that? Because the youngsters in particular have always been having this opinion about Vadodara in particular. See, uh, whenever you have a local election. Right sir, so as we were talking that this time BJP is going to be contesting based upon the local <coughs> or the national agendas. Yeah, basically in a local elections, it is always an endeavour from the local, from the any political party that we first focus on the local agendas. Right. Then we always talk about uh, the state activities. Mm. And then we talk about the central activity. Meaning that uh, when we talk about the city of Baroda, in last 15 days time, we could collect all the work which was done by the local corporator in last five years time. So we have compiled everything and in few days time, we'll be out with 
the compilation of what they have done in the five years time. Right. That will include the work which was done by the local corporator from their own fund. Right. That will include the work which is done by the MLA grant and that will include the work which is done by the member of parliament grant. So in a one specific ward, like I stay in the ward number 12. Mm. So in ward number 12, what was done by the four corporators which were elected in the last term 2015 to 2020. How many projects has been done by the local MLS and uh, uh, which type of the grant was spent by the member of parliament. That we are compiling as a pocket book for the every election one. At the same time, the state government under the leadership of our Chief Minister Vijay Birupani and uh, Deputy Chief Minister Nitin Bhai Patel, they have done wonderful work for the state of Gujarat. So we are going to tell people that what was done by the state government and under the leadership of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, right. uh, the central government has done so many yojana which people of Gujarat and people of Baroda has benefited. So we are going to talk about that also. Right. But the focus will be always on the, the local, local agendas. Yeah. Right. Now, so this time in uh, the local body elections, uh, Mr. Rajeshire's party has also come onto the battleground and uh, people are forcing them to be equally powerful. We are said to have good terms with Bharatiya yeah. Janata Party. So, how do you see that? See, Rajeshire, when he was first the contestant of that area, he was an independent candidate. Right. And uh, he fought that election, he could win that election, which is a very small margin, like less than you know, even 50 votes he could uh, get elected. After that, uh, during the tenure of uh, Balu Bhai Shukla as a Mahamantri, right. he joined the BJP. And uh, in 2010, he elected on the BJP seat as a candidate. In 2013 or maybe 2012, um, a small incident happened hmm. in the Gotri area. And uh, during that period, it was said that uh, Rajesh was instrumental in making that incident. Over a period of time, the local court, lower court, high court, everybody mm. made him free. But at that point of time, BJP decided that he cannot be a part of the BJP. Right. And uh, then he joined uh, another political party, that is RSP. And in 2015 election, he, 2015 election, he was uh, from the uh, RSP candidate. Right. This is 2020. So many things has changed. Right. And uh, we are looking forward to have a great association. Sir, as far as Varodara city is concerned, when we look at um, cities like Delhi or um, say Punjab, Haryana, <coughs> the youngsters over there, because we recently went to Delhi to cover right. the farmers' protest, and what we realized is that you, youngsters over there, are very active into politics. They have their say, they have their opinions. But when we look at the youngsters in Baroda, they are not that uh, active or that opinionated about politics. And what is your take on that? I think that uh, that goes with the culture. Right. The North India has a culture of politics. Hmm. Be it at the family, be it at the society, be it at the state or be it at the central level. Right. Every nookad in uh, North India, UP, Bihar, Haryana, Punjab, you will find people talking about politics. If you go to the western part of the India, it's completely different. Mm. And in Nukkad in Gujarat, you will find people talking about the business, <laughs> shares and stock markets. And they are going to talk about the little entertainment. Right. Family has a bigger value in western part of Gujarat mm. than any other parts of the India. Right. And that could be one of the reasons why uh, even the kids are not interested because my son studying in 12th and my daughter finished her MBBS. Mm. They are not interested in politics. Right. Uh, my wife has never been to any of my campaign. Right. Even uh, when I was elected in 2010 as a uh, standing committee chairman, in two years term she never visited my office. Mm. And when I am here as a BJP president, I am pretty sure that in three years term she is not going to make a visit to my President office also. <laughs> so politics is completely different in uh, northern part of India. We say is the western part of India. Right. Now, so this time, when you talk about Baroda in particular, you know, uh, everybody, people who want to contest for the councillors or the corporators, everybody keeps going around saying that, you know, I ticket dalwa dunga, who ticket up is. So, what's your take on that? Do you think it's that easy for people to get into the hmm. VMC? <laughs> See, uh, for city of Vadodara, for the 
political party like BJP, you don't need to go and meet anyone. Right. Your work is always being uh, considered when we decide uh, to give a ticket to anyone in uh, VMC election. You always can tell your aspiration about your political growth and nothing is wrong about that. Right. But at the same time, meeting 100 people, looking for a ticket from any one of them and uh, finding a right or the wrong way to get the ticket is not going to give you any benefit as a uh, one of the contestants. Right. We always look at the Karyakar and uh, we understand that what Karyakar has done in that area. He may not be completely closer to the BJP, but if he is good in, he or she is good in social activity, even we consider them as a leader. And then we ask them to join a BJP or we ask them to get contested on the BJP seat. Right. So for us, the Karyakarta who are working with the BJP, we always have a track on them. So we know that who is working closely for the benefit of the party and who is not working. At the same time, we always have a look at the other NGO which are working in the city and we try to find out the people from the NGO activity who could be a good leader also. Right. Now, sir, BJP is not just a big party in the city or the state, but in the country, one of yeah. the biggest parties. Now, it is said that uh, even in Vanodara city, there have said to be in a lot of lobbies inside the party. How far is that true? See, the lobbies are the integral part of any political party. Right. If you have a family of four members, mm. it may happen that you have two people giving an opinion for something where the two people may have a different opinion. Right. When in a larger strata, these opinions are called as a lobbies. And do you think that is affecting the party's decisions but there is, in any way? There is no lobby when it comes to a consensus opinion. Right. So, uh, I'll give you an example of a Nya Mandir. Mm. 2015, Nya Mandir was supposed to become a city museum. Standing committee decided to make it a city museum. Uh, 2017 or 2018, the then municipal commissioner Vinod Rao, he sent a proposal to uh, the collector to make it a city museum. We, uh, as a political party and all our five elected uh, representatives, we went together to Pradeep Singh Jadeja mm. and um, there were consensus opinion. So, um, he agreed and uh, uh, we are pretty sure that before the election, this will be done. Right. If you ask them separately, it may happen that uh, all of them could have a different uh, version of using this Nyamandi. Right. But when collectively we decided that we need to make it a city museum, mm. then everybody agreed. Mm. So everyone could have a different opinion mm. about uh, any project or any activity. But when it comes to a consensus opinion after discussion, then there is no lobby. Right. Now my last question will be, Dr. Vijay Shah, as a normal citizen of Baroda, not the president of BJP, how is Dr. Vijay Shah as an individual seeing this or foreseeing the upcoming elections? See, we have, uh, we are 16 seats lesser than the 76 mm. at this point of time. So we have 59 BJP candidates who, who won the election last time. This time we are envisaging and probably this will be an history in the state of Gujarat that all 76 seats we can win through our new methodology of page summit. The reason being that there are only four candidates from the other political party who are winning at the same location for more than 15 years. Right. If we can do something to make them lose, then the Baroda Municipal Corporation will be the first corporation in the history of state of Gujarat which will have no opposition candidate in a municipal corporation. Right. And uh, that is the mission for the next two months right. and we are working on that. At the end, to your uh, opposition parties and the leaders, what would be your message? <laughs> uh, as the president of BJP, I wish all of them a very happy new year 
the last year was completely different and uh, this year we wish that with the vaccines which are going to have free for the first and probably the second round of the taker we will be in a position to take care of corona the life will become normal over a period of time and um, the city with the new election will have a major development issue as a party president i request that all of them should vote for bjp when uh, there is a corporation election and the next year similarly in my term there will be an election for the legislative assembly and uh, i do not know whether you are going to have an interview next year or not we will so i so i wish and i request all of them to even vote for the next uh, ml election to the bjp right uh, i wish good luck to all of them have a healthy and happy life thank you what the bjp is what dr shah has to say for the upcoming elections and uh, like we said that uh, 2021 has uh, brought in some good news one being the corona virus vaccine that has been approved by the indian government as well now we are starting we as a city of vadodara starting the year with uh, the local body elections now what we have to see is there are two different parties that have come in on the battlefield as well apart from the bjp and the congress and this time what we have to see is whether uh, the voters of vadodara like every year since last 25 years bjp has been coming into power uh, history is going to remain the same what are the particular points on which they will be uh, you know contesting for the elections and who as in the words of in particular words will be coming up into power with this and a lot more uh, to know about the upcoming elections make sure that you keep watching the fact flash thank you and i would also want to say that thank you for the tea it was amazing thank, thank you, you.